talking about the medium minister's truth repair combined with the osteotomy. Thanks my four fellows for preparing the document. So thanks for the warm welcome yesterday. These are the legend of meniscus. And we are very happy to have the first Asian summit in, in Korea. Okay? And we can catch up with old friends. So we have bad experience of meniscus root repair in the past. I learned this from Jin Gu. Many years ago, he went to Thailand. And we found that many factors that we cannot control, like the age of the patient, timing uh, of the surgery, activity level alignment and the cartilage, tissue quality, vascularity, right, and the gap extrusion. So these are the un uncontrolled factors, okay? Many times patients come really late. Yeah, sometimes they didn't have pop sound. They come like knee pain, medial joint line pain, x-ray look normal. And we learned from Robert yesterday that the zone four and five, there's a poor vascularity to the medial meniscus root. So that's why the healing is not so good. And from this study, we found that the root repair must be emergency, must be as soon as possible, like Jin Gu said. If you have root tear, you should not wait. You should make a faster cure for the patient. So the timing is 13 weeks only. After that, the cartilage degeneration will be worse. Okay, like this patient, they come too late. So just root repair is not enough when the patient starts to have cartilage degeneration or axis deviation. So I try to repair my root as soon as possible. The goal is to protect the medial compartment, unload the compartment, and this also to me can enhance or protect your repair. So indication for osteotomy is the patient that come too late. Yeah, if they come acute, we try to fix it as soon as possible. If they come too late, more than three months, equal unequal joint space. I always compare the opposite side. When the patient have unequal medial joint space, okay, that means the cut is gone. Okay, the patient have large gap, extrusion more than 11% or three millimeter and severe mellow edema or start to have osteonecosis. So root repair is not enough. You need to have an adjunct. So this is our study. We found that one leg standing wheel is more reliable, not two leg, because patient always protect the weight when she has pain. So you can see the difference, one leg standing and two leg standing. Yeah. So, and how much also, uh, how much we need to collect the angle? So we need, um, uh, I follow this rule. If the patient have no arthritic change or not obvious arthritic change, we try to shift the load about 50 to 55%, yeah. So the root repair with uh, STO, this is a study from Jin Gu. He found that just osteotomy is strong, really powerful. Even you did not repair the root, the outcome is no difference, okay. So my technique of root repair, first I need to expose, make a good exposure. This is our study. We make a magic point release. It the line drop from the posterior cortex to adductor tubercle, about 1.2 centimeter from the joint. So you can open the middle compartment and you have more space to work. Okay, this is the magic point release. Okay. So after that, I prefer to use a suture anchor because if you use the transosseous, your suture will be in the way of your screw, in the way of your osteotomy side. We prefer to use the suture anchor. And from the study, suture anchor and the transosseous is no difference. But I found that when we use the suture anchor, you have a less bungee effect because your repair site is close to the meniscus. If you fix it to the tibia, you have like four centimeters. The suture can move inside the joint. And this will not in the way of your osteotomy, okay? I prefer to use this suture anchor. But if you use transosseous as also possible, you can protect it with the metal rod or endobutton reamer, okay? For some patients that are too old and the patient don't take risk, don't want to take risk for osteotomy or repair. So many patients I send to the autopsy guy to do the U UKA, okay? And follow the cosins and Scott criteria. So let's see the real patients. So this patient is uh, Arabic, he's um, very young, 38. Just, just three months after the injury. So you see the axis deviation. So this is obviously, if you just do the 
root repair is not enough. You need to do osteotomy to be, uh, together with the root repair. You see, the root is torn like this. Yeah. So we're doing the uh, suture anchor, repair the uh, suture anchor uses the triple load anchor with osteotomy. Okay, and the alignment is good. The patient very happy. The second one is the root repair. This is about six months. Yeah, after that. So we use the, this is like Jingu said, the Mason Islands works very well, okay? So previously we used the trans tibial osteotomy and then we tie the suture to the plate and button, yeah. So this is the outcome about three months after that she's getting better. So this is another patient, she has the Mason's root here, so after release, Okay, we use a suture anchor, and this is the outcome. This is the, a doctor, he is 50 years old, he has root repair one year back, I think more than one year, he has the wireless deformities. So this patient, he is the, have very large gap, so I think the osteotomy works very well, but the root repair is impossible, okay, we cannot repairs loose and also it has a loose body in the back of the joint make it have the flexion contracture I need to go to the back transeptal release remove the loose body okay stretch the knee to make full extension and then also to me okay so the patient doing well after the surgery about the also necrosis this is a very common association with the root like Jin Gu said about 80 percent of also necrosis associated with root tear so the meniscus root repair alone is not enough. Whenever the patient has also necrosis, okay, you always need osteotomy to unload the medial compartment. And we found that after the osteotomy, the cartilage getting better. Okay, they have some healing of the cartilage. So this is another patient. She's the uh, really active. He has a meniscus root here with the. Uh, he's a Japanese actually. Yeah. You look at the x-ray, it look nothing, but this is just two years, three years, four years. The necrosis progressed very fast. She denied to do the surgery. So this patient is active runner. Yes, also necrosis, just starting. We do HTO, and this is the three months after the surgery. The patient have no pain, and also necrosis can resolve. Okay? The joint line pain is gone. Okay. This is another patient, the last one, she is the mother of my friends. He has the root tear with the also necrosis. So, yes, this one, yeah. So we get in, we repair the root using suture anchor. And the necrosis actually is too bad. I recommend her to do joint replacement, but she said she wants to try this way first. Yeah. So we're doing, uh, we open the door like the hinge, right, and then we close the door and then fix it with the suture anchor, okay? And put the B-max in and then doing osteotomy, yeah. So this is about uh, one year after the surgery. You can see the healing, good healing of the osteonecrosis after the surgery. And the patient have uh, no knee pain and she's doing very well, no more pain, right? So in conclusion, take home message, we should stick to the indication. If the patient come with root tear, if the patient come, you should do the fast surgery, emergency. Otherwise, you need to do adjunct osteotomy. Whenever the patient start to have uh, joint space unequal, um, using one leg standing wheel, if the patient large gap, more extrusion or severe melodema or, also, or uh, spontaneous also necrosis, okay? So I, uh, how to do that? I prefer using suture anchor, okay, and uh, osteotomy, yeah, together at the same time. And the outcome of the osteotomy is really good, very really powerful. And even you did not repair the root, the outcome is also very good, okay. And next year we have the meeting with uh, our Japanese fan in Thailand. Uh, this is a combined meeting between Tosum, okay, and uh, JSOA, okay. So Koka is here, Ishibashi is the president. So welcome to Pattaya.